2022 has been a remarkable year for the Chinese space program so far. With tons of space launches, completion of Phase 3 of the Chinese Lunar Space Program, successful Martian missions, and a near completion of Taingong Space Station, China has stunned the world with their space advancements and record-breaking technology, and the nation doesn't plan on stopping just yet. The country also plans to launch a moon base in this decade, which will be the first of its kind and a record in itself. In today's video, we will go over the Chinese space and military world records that no one can beat. This is Race to Space. And if you like watching content regarding China space program, consider subscribing. China launched its largest solid propellant rocket, the Lijin-1, into space in July 2022. Developed by Chinese Academy of Sciences CAS, the rocket measures 2.65 meter diameter and is 30 meter long making it the largest of its kind in China. It is worth noting that the Legion 1 was intended to support launching missions of small and medium-sized satellites initially but provided further options for launches using a solid rocket and also bought the country's development of similar type of rockets to a major world-class level. The launch was a complete success and successfully put six satellites into orbit. Its developer CAS Space revealed in a statement that the reason it's a world-class rocket lies in multiple areas which include its launch capacity, reliability, and cost efficiency for a launch mission. China's Shenzhou-12 crew set a record previously with the longest single-flight space mission of 92 days, but the Shenzhou-13 crew has broken the record after their epic six-month orbital trip which almost doubled the previous record of Shenzhou-12. The crew consisted of three taikonauts, including Wang Yeping, who is now in the record books for becoming China's first female astronaut to conduct extravehicular activities. She also spent about 197, setting a new record for a Chinese astronaut after the Shenzhou 13 completed its 180-day mission and set its own national record. The Shenzhou 13 has achieved several milestones in its whole itself which makes the mission a record-breaking success. The crew touched down in April 2022. Shenzhou 13 was the second crewed mission to Chiani, which launched a lower Earth orbit in April 2021. The first was Shenzhou 12, which lifted off in June 2021 and landed that October. China's Long March rockets are a family of expendable launch system rockets operated by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation. The Long March 1 rocket was used to launch the first Chinese satellite, Dong Fang Hong 1, into low Earth orbit and made China the fifth nation to achieve independent launch capability. The previous record for consecutive Long March rocket launches was 102, set from 1996 to 2011, and now the Long March rocket family has set another record. Since May 5, 2020, the Long March rocket series has achieved 103 consecutive successful launches in just 27 months, transporting 200 spacecraft into orbit, including space station modules, a lunar probe, a Mars probe, and manned spaceships. The Long March family is basically China's backbone launch vehicle fleet and refuses to let the nation down with its launches. Hypersonic technology is often referred to as threat of the future and its development often leaves the competitors shaking and worried and China has managed to achieve just that. Hypersonic missiles travel at five times the speed of sound, can destroy an aircraft carrier even without a warhead, and are almost impossible to track. The main problem is even if you manage to track one down, you still have to face an enormous disadvantage if tasked to shooting it down which makes the weapon quick, precise, and extremely deadline in most, if not all, cases. China has recently recently tested their newest version of hypersonic warhead that traveled around the globe and sped towards its target after leaving its orbit. The test left the West, particularly the US, extremely worried. Way before this test, China added their own hypersonic glide vehicle, the Dongfang-17, into their arsenal and revealed it to the world. All this has clearly demonstrated that China is leading the way in its hypersonic technology. Russia is on a close second with its development and US is no way near these both. This clearly puts China ahead of the curve by a mile and puts the Chinese military ahead in the arms race. 
China's lunar program Chang has undoubtedly been one of the finest lunar program in the country, as well as internationally. With three phases completed, the program is now moving on to phase four, which includes developing an autonomous lunar robotic research station near the south pole of the moon. But that's not it. China achieved the world's first soft landing on the far side of the moon in January 2019, after the Chang'e 4 mission was dubbed a complete success by the country's space program. Keep in mind that direct contact with any piece of technology or utility is impossible on the far side of the moon because transmissions are blocked by the moon. Communications must go through a communications relay satellite, which is placed at a location that has a clear view of both the landing site and the Earth. This is the exact reason why this mission was an achievement and marked its name in the history of space exploration and programs. A great feat that comes before the successful development of hypersonic weapons is the testing phase. A successful test puts the developer in a prime state, and for the testing phase, proper utility is required. And what if we told you China has already achieved that? As mentioned earlier, hypersonic is a threat of the future, and the technology can put a nation in a state where no one dares challenge it. While the facility's name, location, and top MACT rating remain classified, it plays an important role in China's hypersonic weapons program, allowing ground tests that could expose critical engineering and technological issues before missiles go up for a test flight. The newly revealed Chinese wind tunnel is not only large enough to house a full hypersonic missile, but can create environments to simulate the different stages of flight throughout the test. U.S. seems to be the only major competitor China currently faces due to several tensions in the past and the Chinese-Russian collaboration puts both countries ahead of it. Russia may be leading in development, but China is ahead of them overall and U.S. is just years behind when it comes to hypersonic sonic technology compared with China. A former suborbital test center, the Wencheng Space Launch Site is located in Hainan, China and has the potential of becoming one of the largest and busiest launch sites in the world. China's initial three launch sites were placed right in the midst of the country, which posed a huge threat to the launch capability because if the test failed, the rocket would descend into places like villages. Now the villages may not be populated since evacuation happens before the launch. The damage would still be done and posed a risk. The four launch site is on an island known as Hainan and would provide no further risk since the island is surrounded by sea, which would minimize the damage dealt with failures and faulty equipment. With everything about China's space and military records covered, it's time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment down below and we will cover it for you. This is Race to Space and we will see you in the next one.